Hey guys, I have been using the Assembly Baby system for about six months now. So I'm just gonna pop in and give you an update about these products, my experience, and what they look like now after six months of use. So I'm gonna be showing you some of the outers, which are the diaper covers. These are their fitted diapers, which are their inners. These are their nighttime boosters the wipes, their skincare products, and the agitators. So let's start with the diapers. This is the inner. I've been using these daily. I do use some other kinds of diapers as well. Um, I basically use these whenever my baby is still enough that I can pop him in the inner and the outer without him rolling around like an alligator on the floor. So when he's not really cooperating so well, I like to use pocket diapers. So my preferred pocket diaper is Bungie's and I have some videos on those and I use some other brands as well. But I do use a ton of these and every wash I just have almost this whole stack completely used up every wash. So I do use these on a daily and nightly basis. And I have had a great time with these. This is what they look like. Um, they get more floppy, I'd say, as you use them longer. And you'll see that some of them kind of wrinkle up in different ways because they're sewn in in different places. And I'm not so crazy about making sure all the wrinkles look good because as long as it's closing kind of flat like this, it doesn't really affect how the diaper looks on the baby or the function of the diaper. And I'm pretty sure they're just sewn like this. So when you pull the diaper and extend it, they have room to kind of move around and uh, have a little more flexibility in them. So this is what they look like. All my diapers basically look like this, but I'll show you some more. I haven't had any staining issues. You can see like some of the, the ruffles are kind of whatever. I just flatten them out as much as I can, but I don't really worry about it because they're still pretty slim. I think folding them in half when you store them does flatten them out a little bit even before you put them on the butt and make them a little slimmer. And they do get kind of floppy like this after a lot of use. Mine just kind of like fold in half very easily out of the wash. And if I dry them for too long and they go like this in the dryer sometimes, I just flatten them out before I fold them in half and I have no issues there. Um, I've had no leaks. I have had some wicking as you do with diapers. Basically, just if the diaper cover moves off of the diaper or maybe a waistband of a pant or short gets a little bit tucked in under the diaper cover, you can have a little wicking. So always just make sure your diaper cover is completely covering the inner. Um, this is how I store them, by the way, and I just keep the extra stack on a shelf but I store them in this container. It's, I think it's a Skip Hop, um, just a little diaper caddy. And it's been really functional for me. I like it a lot. Um, I can fit one, two, three, four, five, probably six diapers com comfortably in here and quite a bit of covers. You can even just like, you know, stack it up if you don't really mind it overflowing a bit but I just refill this and keep this on a shelf where it's really accessible to me. And I do actually change the outer every time I do a diaper change, which is not necessary. It's just something that makes it a little easier for me to just grab the whole diaper and toss it into my wet bag. And I do have quite a few covers, so it's something I'm able to do. I also have a couple thirsties in here, which I'll talk about in a little bit as well. 
Um, let's just take a few more peeks at some random ones, just see what they're looking like. I really don't have any staining issues. I think maybe twice I saw like a tiny, tiny bit of staining because of blueberries and one time I saw like an orange dot, but I really don't have any staining and I just use Tide right now. I think something really useful is just spraying your diapers as soon as you find a soiled diaper and then you don't have to worry about the stain really sinking into your diapers as much and usually after I spray them they don't really even look like they have any residue on them. I feel like the part where the number two gets stuck the most is right here by the stitching and I just spray it off the best I can and the washer gets off the rest of it. Sometimes right here as well. But like I said, I don't really see any staining problems on here. Not that staining is really a problem. It's kind of like a no problem problem because it doesn't affect the absorbency of the diaper and you can still have a clean diaper with a stain. It's really not that important. So. I use these at, at night as well. I use this booster. This is what they look like now. I think they might have gotten a little more, I don't know what you'd call this. The texture is a little different on the fleece side. And some of their products have these random strings that come out. I think this is called surging, I'm not sure. And it's just like these strings and I should probably trim them but I really don't care that much to bother with it. So anyway, I use these at night with these diapers and these covers, the assembly covers as well. And it'll hold through the whole night for me and I just change my baby in the morning. But if he wakes up in the middle of the night, then I will do a diaper change because these really can't hold all the fluid from bedtime to morning if you're doing additional feeds maybe small feeds, like a few ounces, but not big bottles. And I found that my baby actually sleeps better dry anyway. So for us, it doesn't help to keep a diaper on through the night. There wasn't any rash issues. I used this before bed and I just put it everywhere that the diaper touches. And I use this if he's looking a little bit red um, but I use it pretty sparingly during the day. I just use it basically before bedtime and for any redness and it just zaps the redness right away and I've never had any redness in the morning after he's been in the diaper all night. I also use this. Um, you can see my baby's been chewing on it. <laughs> um, I use this and I usually put this on in the morning and then I don't really use diaper cream that much unless there's some redness and then I'll just use one of these. So these are amazing. I have extras. As you can see, I've definitely almost used up that whole thing. This goes really slow. Like this will last you forever because you really don't need that much. I kind of take it from around the edges usually, and it does have a little coconut smell. It does have coconut oil in it, uh, beeswax, shea nut oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, vitamin E. All of their skincare products have amazing ingredients, and they work, and they don't stain your diapers, and I love that. This one has zinc in it, by the way, if you're looking for kind of a, a more traditional diaper cream or, or like a more powerful diaper cream. And I also use this wipe up wash, which I'll show you when I go over the wipes. But let's take a look at these um, outers, their diaper covers. So this is what they look like. I have another video talking more about the diaper covers, but um, they're holding up really good. Even the white ones are not looking dingy. They still look really bright. And I don't have any staining issues on these either. 
These dry really fast. These dry pretty slow. Um, I'll talk about that more when I talk about my wash routine, but I've had a great time with these. I use these pretty much exclusively on these. Now, a Thirsty's Duo Wrap Size 2 does fit over it great. And one reason I got these was before I was changing my baby at night, I was adding extra absorbency into these diapers to last through the night, but it really didn't help my baby sleep any better, so I stopped. But if you want to do that, you can always add in, I added like a booster and then I put this on top with the flea side up. And then sometimes I would even put additional absorbency on this side as well. So I got it pretty bulked up, but also um, very absorbent. And that's why I was using these Thirsties Duo Wraps because they really, um, they kind of cover like the bigger bulk of this diaper once you stuff it more than just this. So if you're putting this and maybe one or two other inserts, I was using really thin inserts in addition, but um, that's when I really use these. But I found that if you're just using this, or this and this, then their normal covers actually worked better for me. Um, the reason why I did the Thirsties, um, I did the Thirsties with the extra bulk is because I was having trouble getting it high enough in the belly section over the bulk of the diaper. So, if you're stuffing it extra, check them out. But for me, I I just kind of use these when I when I want to print. And you know, they have a lot of really cute prints, but I kind of wish they had even more prints because I love prints. <laughs> but they will come out with some more um, limited edition prints like these throughout the year. I think maybe a, a few times a year you'll see some of the limited edition prints. So now let's talk about the wipes. I store them in a Michelle My Bell pod. That's a Facebook group. I've posted about it before. And I do the pop-up um, fold, which I have a video about. So you just get one at a time. Uh, let's take a look at how they're holding up. This is what they look like. They're still white. Um, like some of their other products, you get a couple like random strings coming off like this. And I'm just really don't care enough to trim it, but you could trim it if it bothers you. It doesn't affect the, um, the functionality of this product and it doesn't unravel. It just like pops out a little bit. I think just because the surging doesn't really have a, a knot or something. I don't really know anything about sewing to be honest, but this is another one. I don't really make things like pristine they're just diapers, you know, so you'll see my products are like wrinkled or whatever, but it's not a big deal to me. Here's another one. Okay. And I use this wipe up wash, I believe it's called. I give it a little shake and then I use it. And um, I do wash the bottle between refills and I refill it about once a week or when I see it's like less foamy, probably means it's been over a week. And um, I also use this if I use a disposable wipe, I actually like clean off what was in the disposable wipe with this stuff because I think the disposable wipes are a little irritating to my baby. Um, but I use these for every number one change I feel like he needs to be wiped down and then for number two changes just full disclosure I use a disposable wipe just to get the poopy off and then I use this after and so I don't spray the wipe and the diaper I just spray the diaper but you can totally just use these exclusively I'm just kind of a little on the lazy side and 
I hardly use any of them anyway. Let's see what else. I guess we'll go on to wash routine and agitators. So these are what the agitators look like. They're made of silicone and I switched my washer, unfortunately, from my amazing washer, which was a top loader and it died, to basically the only washer that would fit in our closet, which was a front loader, high efficiency. I still use Tide right now, but I've had to do three washes instead of two and it's taking a long time. So I'm gonna try the assembly powder and see if that can cut my wash routine back to two washes. I do throw these into the washer. There are six of them. You can put them in the dryer, but I don't because they kind of clunk around and make a lot of noise. And I guess they help with agitation. Um, personally, I would say that just bulking your diapers and making them a larger load helps with agitation more than these, but I do use these anyway for each of my loads and I do think it makes a difference. I bulk with little towels, like hand towels and little rags, things I use in the kitchen, reusable napkins, stuff like that is what I bulk with. And I throw everything in the dryer for about an hour and then I take out anything that dries fast like this, my wet bag, and then I put in the inserts, whether it's a fitted diaper like this or whether it's a natural fiber insert like from Bunkies or it's a microfiber or whatever, I throw everything that's absorbent back in the dryer for a little extra time. And you can tell when these are dry by putting your finger here. This is the part that stays moist the longest. And maybe you could feel like in here. I just feel here and when it's warm, I know it's dry and I take it out. I just don't wanna fold it up and put it somewhere and have it be wet and you know, get mildew or something. So I just make every make sure everything is totally dry. These take a long time to line dry, I will say that. But they do, in some time, line dry. These are super fast to line dry. Um, and sometimes I line dry them and I'll do that either exclusively or I'll just toss it in the dryer for, um, an extra little burst of heat to finish it off or just dry it totally in the, um, the dryer. And I really haven't seen any kinds of elastic damage. These, these are dryer safe products too, by the way. Um, and no problems with the PUL, which is, um, it's a little stretchy, which is nice. It's soft. It's not like plasticky, like, Thirsties and like a lot of other brands, they have this kind of like plasticky side to it. These are both like very soft, you know, it's like soft and floppy. But I really haven't tested these over a lot of other kinds of mm, products as a uh, cover. I really just use them over the fitted diaper. But I'm curious to see if these would work well over a prefold or a flat. And I'm not really sure if they would or not because I haven't tried it, but they're definitely different altogether than something like this, just so you know. So I would recommend the system completely. The skincare is amazing. The diapers are great. The wipes are good, you know, they're wipes. Um, and the boosters fit in here really well. I have had no leaks, no blowouts. It's been really easy. I love using these patterns. They're so cute. And I find that assembly ships really fast. They hold up well, they're good quality. And I've just had a nice time using this system. I would highly recommend it. It has lived up to my expectations and I would buy these for gifts. I have bought these for gifts. Um, 
And what more can I say? If you have any questions, let me know. I'll respond and let me know what you guys think of this system and how you like using it. So thanks for watching and happy diapering. Bye.